Hi everyone, this is Pam from Bug Bites, and in this episode, I'll be updating my new Create machine which I got from my rewards. And usually, I would advise people to use DS, even trial version is okay to do the update because you have the muscle of your computer behind it and the Gypsy after all is a small device and some people have known to run into problems while updating so it's always a better option but since I'm taking this video and I wanted to show you how to update through the Gypsy I'm using the Gypsy hopefully all will go well if anything does go wrong I can always call PC during the weekdays so let's I'm gonna wish myself luck and continue this is the cable end which has to go into your gypsy. A um, bit of struggle there <laughs> because I'm having a camera on one hand. Okay, and this square end is the other end and this has to go to that port which you can see here. The square end has to go to your Cricut Create or your expression. I've set up the gypsy right close to my Cricut and you can see that I've tied the stylus with a ribbon so that it doesn't fall off. I keep dropping the stylus so on the first day when I got it I decided that not to lose my stylus I would tie it with a ribbon so that it does not fall off. My G is also in the power cord it's connected to the power cord. I'd always advise that way because we know, never know how long this will take. So from this menu I will choose update your Cricut. I had kept my Cricut power on and now I'll follow the instruction which it says. It says please power off your Cricut and hold down the stop button. Power on the Cricut while holding the stop button and wait 5 seconds and listen for the beep and only after you follow that you have to press OK. So please do take care to read the instructions and follow. So OK, I will first switch that off. Then I will first press the stop button, not the power button because then I will just be switching it on. So hold on to the stop button and while holding it press the power button too. This is the only way it will update and then I'll hear the beep. Yes, the whole machine has lit up. There's an LED light show. Sorry that you can't hear the beep, but when you do it, you'll surely hear that. It was definitely there. And then I'll go to the Gypsy and press OK. And now it's updating your Cricut and it's part one. Remember, the update should be in two parts. We'll see. My E definitely needed two parts. It's filling up the bars there. It will take a while. That's why initially I advised you to put it on par, the gypsy on par. Usually it does not, the gypsy doesn't go off while it is doing something. And it just goes off only when it's idle, but Still, I like to keep touching the screen like that. Anything to help this process along, I'll do that. It's about three minutes now and it's almost halfway through in part one. I heard a big sound, a big beep. Let me check what's happening. It must have finished updating part one. Updating your Cricut part one. It's still doing it. It gave a big beep. Okay, it says you have successfully updated your Cricut. Part 2 of the update process is not necessary for your Cricut. Wow, my expression needed too, but I guess because this is create, it says it does not need that. I'll press OK and I want to do a test cut to see that if the update has gone on correctly because it's always better to check. So let me cut something out. Since it's a new mat, I always prefer playing patty cakes with it, just like Cricut Dan tells you to. And that helps in creating a film between the paper and 
your mat so that the paper doesn't get permanently stuck to the mat it does work let me tell you I've tried both ways and it helps playing patty cakes it's a bit dark here because I've closed the windows to get the gypsy clear okay I've loaded the mat I've loaded the paper on the mat and I'll try to cut a very simple design right on that spot so I'll put the image on my gypsy that way too so let's try cutting this butterfly I have put a cartridge in my crate I don't need to do that but I like to load my mat from the machine itself and not with the gypsy that's why I'm putting a cartridge there so that I can use the buttons on my Cricut. So let me press load mat and it'll load the mat for me. Then I'll press the cut button on my gypsy and it's intelligent enough to sense that my mat has been loaded that's why it's giving me that it's unload mat not the load mat so I'll not press that. Down buttons are the multi-cut button so I'll just press on my cut button. I don't need multi-cut as this is just a cardstock. It says check play depth. Uh oh! Since it's a new machine I have not even checked that so first let me go and do that. Thank goodness that it does say that so let me go and finish checking my blade depth and my pressure before I press OK here okay so I've set my blade depth at 6 I don't mind if it cuts all the way uh, through to the mat but I wanted to cut all the way through the paper so I'll set it at 6 and my pressure is at max and my speed at low and it's cutting away so it's finished cutting and it asks me whether I want to unload the mat I always like to choose return to design and then press load mat on my Cricut so that I can check if the cutting is right else I can always just press the cut once again if it has not gone all the way through so here let me check sorry that I'm holding a camera in one hand so it might be a little wobbly here I just carefully lift the paper up and I'm seeing if it's going all the way through yes it has and I'll very carefully put it back and since I'm using one hand I'm not able to do that but usually I keep one of my hand like an hinge on that end so that the paper doesn't move so this way if it has not gone if the cut has not gone all the way through I can then come back here and press cut once again as long as I have not unloaded my mat so it's very important to return to design and then Gypsy lets the Cricut go so then you can press load mat from your Cricut that's why I like the cartridge in and then I can check for the cut. Now that I have made sure that it has cut all the way through I will unload the mat and see how it has cut time for the big reveal looks like the cut has come out okay here's the butterfly so the edges look clean so this process has been a success I also learned that sometimes the update process from the gypsy can be done in one part my expression did take two parts to update with my gypsy so thank you for watching